News which has been making headlines throughout the day as well as on social media is the sentence of former High Education Deputy Minister Mduduzi Manano who's been sentenced to either one year in prison or to uh, pay a fine of 100,000 rand. This after he had been found guilty and also pleaded guilty in assaulting three women at a four-ways nightclub in August of this year after a video of the assault went viral on social media. He also has to involve himself in uh, some community service as well as uh, continue treatment and uh, uh, talks on uh, dealing with anger management. It brings up lots of questions. It brought up lots of questions for for various role players on social media. People are still weighing in on the conversation. Some political analysts weighing in on it as well as uh, law uh, experts. And I know that you would like to weigh in on the conversation as well if you haven't done so yet. Abusing three women, assaulting them, and getting a sentence of either one year or paying a fine of 100,000 rand with some community service, which he can easily complete in a few weeks. It is really concerning and it brings up a lot of questions of, is our justice system really doing the work that it's supposed to do? Bring those criminals to book those people who are assaulting women, who are abusing women. I myself think that it's a it's it's government's way. It is our justice system's way of of telling us that they know that this is happening in our society, that this is happening in some households, but they don't care about it. So what if it happens? So what if a woman is being physically, verbally and psychologically abused by the hands of men? So what? And it is really sad and it brings up another question of am I... Are you, are we doing enough as society in assisting in curbing this crime? Because we're seeing that this assault against women is ever more increasing. We saw recent stats released recently this year by the police minister for Kilian Balula saying that one in five women are being physically abused. And that is only the women who are reporting these crimes. What about those women who are not reporting that they are being assaulted and abused by the hands of men? It's easy for us to also go to these women who found, find themselves in these toxic relationships and to tell them to get out of it. But it is not as easy as what we think it is because a lot of the times these women are not just being physically abused but they are being verbally and psychologically abused as well. They are being told that if they are going to leave the man, they are going to and will continue to be a nothing. That a lot of these women, they find themselves in the unemployment bracket and the man is a, the only one that is working in that household, that if she leaves him, she's going to end up on the streets. We need to start taking this power into our own hands by if we are able to help and assist these women who we know of who find themselves in these toxic relationships to assist them for goodness sake. Also we as men need to stand up and to say that enough is enough that if I am a man that doesn't abuse that doesn't assault my wife and the women around me that I can't say that I am not that hashtag men are trash because as long as this continues to happen against our women and children in our country and in our society and in our homes, we, all of us, no matter who we are, no matter where we find ourselves, no matter if we are rich, if we are poor, if we find ourselves in a rut, we will continue to be trash. Men will always remain trash if this assault and abuse against women continues because it is not right. We as men need to say that enough is enough, that we need to start with ourselves. We need to start in our homes by saying, I as Keenan, I as whoever am going to start respecting, start loving and start disciplining myself to respect 
women who I encounter in my life and I'm going to do likewise and teach my sons to do the same because if I abuse, may it be verbally, may it be physically, may it be psychologically, my wife and my son sees that, that cycle is going to continue in his relationship with his girlfriend and his wife one day because he sees that daddy is doing that and he's going to carry it over. So we need to teach these morals to our sons. We need to teach our daughters to speak out against abuse and assault if that ever happens to them. And we also need to teach ourselves as a society to stand together and to, with our hands clenched together, say that we have this power of freedom as a democratic country. We've been given this. We've been blessed with it. But if this continues to happen, we are not living in a democratic country free country because there are so many women who find themselves enslaved in the clutches of men holding them in abusive and toxic relationships. I am not pleased by this ruling of Mduduzi Manana of today, of either spending one year in prison, which I doubt he would, because he's just going to pay that 100,000 rand fine and it's done. And he escapes jail term, he escapes it, it's a slap in the face of various organizations, various role players working against, tirelessly against the abuse of women and children. That is my two cents worth and that is me being frustrated at this sentence because there are so many women who, fi women who find themselves in such toxic relationships and the cycle will continue because perpetrators of this crime see that, okay, this is the punishment that we get. It's fine. I will continue with it. What's your comments on it? Do you think that our justice system, our legal system, our government is doing enough to curb abuse and assault in our households what are your comments you can comment in the comment section below or you can go to our facebook page which is kwm just type it into your search box as well as go to facebook.com forward slash kwm thanks very much for taking the time to listen and also watch and partake in the comments and the discussions of this video thank you very much until next time from myself keenan williams it's love to the family Bye bye